there's two types of domains that you can add when you add an additional domain to your Google Workspace. Now, the one time that we don't recommend creating too many domains under one Google Workspace account is if you're say a serial entrepreneur with multiple unrelated businesses. Is it possible to have two domains linked to a workspace? Also, do we have to move our email accounts over to workspace immediately? It'd be great to test the integration with other tools before committing to Google Workspace. If you're a business and you'd like to try out Google Workspace before committing, there are a number of different ways that you can do that. When you set up a Google Workspace account, typically, yes, it is going to be tied to a domain name. When you register for the account, you need to choose a domain name, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to immediately cut over your email delivery to go to Google Workspace. Imagine the case of a large organization that is maybe a hybrid setup where they have some mailboxes in the Microsoft world and some staff want to use Google, well, you would have to run two systems in parallel, right? And in that case, you may choose to have a split delivery system of some sort. Maybe Microsoft receives the emails first and then they go to Google, or maybe Google receives the emails and they forward one team's emails back over to Microsoft. But if you're just getting started with Workspace and you're curious to give it a bit of a spin, before you do any cutting over of email. Well, the first step for you to do is after you sign up to an account, verify the domain name. Now, domain verification and domain email or MX record setup are two different things. Verifying a domain just means that you verify to Google that I am the only owner of this domain name and this Google Workspace account is tied to that domain name. Now, Google doesn't let you create a second Google Workspace account using the same domain. Verifying your domain is a very important step because it means that you put a stake in the ground and you claim that I own this domain name and no one else can use it on Workspace. Now, at that point in time, Google is gonna prompt you to go ahead and set up your DNS records to start redirecting mail to the users that you've configured inside your Workspace account. But you don't have to do that. You can stay as long as you like with a verified domain without cutting over email. Of course, you do have to pay for licenses if you've deployed user mailboxes, but you don't have to necessarily do that if you just wanna test things out, or maybe you just get a single mailbox to try it out. Now, the interesting thing is where this comes down to testing integrations. If you're interested in testing integrations using Google's identity service, well, you can make use of that but something weird is gonna happen. Let's say, for example, you wanna sign up for Asana to manage some tasks for your team. When Asana prompts you to log in with a Google account, you can use your new Google identity to sign into Asana. However, remember that this identity is tied to your email address, and so the app, Asana, is gonna to wanna to send you a confirmation email to say, hey, welcome to our app, thanks for signing up, and thanks for connecting your Google account. But that email is not gonna go into the inbox of your Google account because it's gonna be sent to your email address based on the MX or DNS records of that email domain. And that's gonna to go to wherever your mail is hosted right now, be it Microsoft or a web host or cPanel, or maybe just straight downloaded from your internet service provider into your Mac mail or your Outlook application. So keep in mind that it does get a little bit weird if you've deployed a Google account and you wanna start using it for sign-in, logins, or integrations. However, it should still function. If you create a document in Google Drive and you wanna have a Zapier Zap, which is connecting automations to that account and placing files into your Google Drive or reading files in your Google Drive and doing something else with them. It doesn't need email for that function. So once you authorize your Google account, you do have the ability to connect that up to a service like Zapier and have those automations work fine. That's gonna work okay. Just keeping in mind that anytime you send an email to that email address, it's still gonna to go to wherever your email are being sent right now. Now there's another part to this question is, is it possible to have two domains linked to Google Workspace? Absolutely it is. You can create pretty much as many domains as you want. And there's two types of domains that you can add when you add an additional domain to your Google Workspace. The first type is an alias domain. And what that means is it's like a carbon copy. Effectively, you have your primary domain, which is where all of your users will be configured, and the alias domain will create a second email address for every person in the business, but that second email address will still arrive in the main bucket of email for each primary user. And so if you have a brand, like maybe a .com, but you also own the .com.au, or .co.uk, well, you can have those additional extra domains added as alias domains for no additional cost 
and they'll redirect the emails automatically to each one of your users. Now on this channel, I often talk about the concept of buckets of email. A bucket of email is a mailbox. It's somewhere where the emails go and you only have to pay for each bucket of email in your account. Multiple email addresses going to one bucket, you're still only paying for one account. Now there's a second type of domain that you can add to your Workspace account and that's called an add-on domain. And the add-on domain does something special. It actually allows you to have new buckets with the add-on domain as the primary email address. It means that effectively you can have multiple primary domains for your Google Workspace account. And if you create a bucket of email or a user account using the second primary domain, well, that user will log in with that email address. They will send calendar invites from that email address. All of their integrations will be connected to that second email address. Now, the one time that we don't recommend creating too many domains under one Google Workspace account is if you're say a serial entrepreneur with multiple unrelated businesses. If you have one company with multiple brands, well, it makes sense to have everything under one workspace account. But if you have multiple businesses and you have multiple business partners or potentially need to split out the data of one of those businesses sometime in the potential near future, well, it would make sense to spin up a completely separate Google workspace account. And in that completely separate account, you have the opportunity to configure it how you wish, keep the domain names completely separate for now. And if you need to, it means that you can easily move that domain name on with its own dedicated attached Google Workspace account. Now, you might be wondering, well, in that situation, Peter, I then have two mailboxes because I need to run both companies. I'm the owner of both and I have a mailbox in both. Well, if you wanna be clever about it, what you could do is you could forward the emails from the secondary mailbox or your mailbox in the secondary Google Workspace account back to your mailbox in your primary account. And when you do that, it means that you get all your emails in one place, sending and receiving from multiple email addresses, even across multiple Workspace accounts. Now there's some downsides and some upsides to different configurations. I recommend you search our channel for multiple domains. I've got lots of different videos on different scenarios. Hopefully you'll find the information that you need. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this, click the link below to get started.